Oh, hi, it's Brian from IGN here at the San Diego Comic-Con show floor at the Lego booth, where we're about to check out the coolest video game Lego sets here. Let's take a look. First up, we have the Supersonic vs. Egg Drillster set. This will run you $79.99. It comes with a very awesome Dr. Robotnik minifig, who isn't actually that mini. He looks pretty tall, and he's got a nice gut going. We also have a couple of rings. We've got uh, Shadow down here, some vehicles, and various obstacles for them to mess with. All sorts of stuff to play with. Up next, we have Shadow the Hedgehog, or uh, the Hedgehog, since it's basically just his head, but the details in it are awesome. The spikes, the ears, the nose, everything looks super cool. This will run you $69.99 and looks like an incredibly fun build with 720 pieces. Up next, let's dig into some Minecraft stuff and go a little deeper under the surface with the crafting table. This is an $89.99 set that features 1,195 pieces. Minecraft and Lego obviously go hand in hand because they're blocks, but as you can see, the amount of details they put into this little world right here are incredible. If you want even more Minecraft, the Ender Dragon and End Ship set will run you $79.99. has 657 pieces and features a whole bunch of cool stuff to play with, including a huge dragon and a very great, beautiful, pinkish, purplish ship. Now it's time to move over to Fortnite, which is finally getting a bunch of very cool LEGO sets, including a bunch of minifigs, which are all included in the Battle Bus set for $99.99. That's 954 pieces. Best way to airdrop all your minifigs in. If you're a LEGO collector, chances are you have a bunch of different figures from a bunch of different sets, from Star Wars to Marvel. So, hey, put them all in there. That's what Fortnite does. Up next is Peely Bone. For people who have always wanted to know what a skeleton banana looks like inside, uh, right down to its innards and uh, intestines and all of that. So uh, this is a kind of a gross set and I really love it. It's 1,414 pieces. It'll run you 99.99 and the details are incredible. It looks like he's stepping on some ground and he's got a really cool blaster and a banana hammer and uh, again, his guts and intestines are all there. So if that's the thing you want to see in your house, it, then buy it and look at it every day. If that last set got you hungry, well, good news, you can get a Durr Burger for $14.99, which is about as much as it costs to get a burger at Shake Shack. This will run you 93 pieces, it looks delicious, and I really, really love those goofy eyes and big dumb tongue. And finally, the Fortnite Supply Llama, where all of your wonderful guns and accessories can be stored. Just smash it open and see what's inside. No, this actually does look like you can open it up. There's a couple of different compartments. Uh, this will run you $39.99 and has 691 pieces. And now it's time to hop on the Bowser Express train over to Super Mario World. This set will run you $119.99, has 1,392 pieces, and has all sorts of fun stuff and amazing details, like including a couple of Koopa Kids, a Goomba with a hat, um, a Goomba with another hat, and Bowser's huge face on the front of the train, blowing steam out of his brain because he's seriously, seriously mad at Mario. Again, for reasons no one can really understand. Up next is one of my favorite builds here, the Piranha Plant. This will run you $59.99. It's 540 pieces. It's about the same scale as the Bowser sets they've done in the past, the big question block they've done in the past. They've done a lot of real cool stuff for Mario outside of the interactive toys, uh, just full-on sets that are fun to play. Revealed for the very first time at San Diego Comic-Con is the brand new Super Mario World Mario and Yoshi set, which retails for $129.99 and features 1,215 pieces, including a fully operable crank that makes Yoshi run in place and stick out his long, weird tongue to grab enemies or fruits, just like he does in the classic 1990 platforming game for Super Nintendo. This is straight up one of the coolest things that LEGO and Nintendo has ever made together. Up next, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is the Great Deku Tree 2-in-1 from Ocarina of Time and also Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, as you can see, you can flip this set in two different ways using two different generations of Link, whether you grew up on the N64 or you play the one on Switch. Uh, the Legend of Zelda is finally getting its own LEGO of Zelda, and I'm so happy. This set will run you $299.99, has 2,500 pieces, a bunch of different Link and Zelda minifigs, and the tree is just awesome. And Look at that Master Sword. You just you just need to pull out of there. Also, Hestu is here, and everyone loves Hestu. God, this set's so cool. It's a nice breezy Saturday night in Animal Crossing. You know what that means. It's time for a concert with our good friend, the singing dog himself, 
KK Slider. Uh, he's out here playing the hits. Uh, Isabel's here rocking one of his albums. And also Tom Nook with a bag of money that he stole from somebody's house while wearing a birthday hat. I don't really understand it, but I love it. This is KK's concert at the Plaza. It's 550 pieces. We'll run you $79.99, and Tom Nook will take every penny of that from you. So have an ice cream. And finally, if you live in Animal Crossing, which you probably do if you own the game and you've spent hundreds of hours in it like I have, you need a place to sleep and you need a place to shop. Shopping gets done at Nook's Cranny, well, at least until you upgrade it, which I guess you'd have to do with your own blocks. And living gets done at Rosie's house, if you're Rosie. If not, you can just go over and hang out until she tells you to leave. Rosie's house comes with a cool bicycle, a little tea set, an orange tree that you can shake down to sell for bells, and Nook's Cranny is very wonderful and you can do some uh, shopping inside and also some some construction outside. This set will run you $74.99, has 535 pieces, and it's really, really cool. So check it out. And those are a few of our favorite video game LEGO sets right here at Comic-Con at the LEGO booth. For all things video games, LEGO, toys, action figures, movies, shows, and all that, keep watching IGN.